All right. Here we go. All right. This is us getting ready to go back in our Soyuz. So we've been up about six months now and we're climbing back in the Soyuz. We're gonna have to close, close the hatch. Can you imagine that, right? <laughs> and then, uh, uh, you know, the photo op, standard thing like that. But then once we get into the Soyuz, we put our launch and entry suit back on. We'll get all in our seats kind of strapped in. We'll undock from the space station. And about two and a half hours after that, we'll do a D over burn, which means we slow down the vehicle about 250 miles an hour. And once we do that, the next time around the Earth, we'll get to go into the Earth's atmosphere. This is the wow. plasma around the vehicle looking out that window. That's amazing. Then, yeah, so now actually you can see this other coverage of that. That was the heat shield got so hot, which is supposed to do, it would slough off pieces of metal and they would stick to the outside of the window, which is really kind of interesting. So that's why it's kind of like, you know, you can't even see through it right now. It's opaque because of this metal, you know, pieces on it after uh, going through this hot spot. And then once we get that, we go on a parachute and the parachute lasts about 15 minutes. We hit the ground and we're back on the ground again in the middle of nowhere, Kazakhstan on a, on a Soyuz. Uh, so that's kind of where you land. Again, the reason we land with no trees, no buildings around is because we're on a parachute and we don't do pinpoint accuracy with a parachute. We're just kind of going wherever the wind takes us. Wow, that must be quite scary. Just kind of wondering where you're gonna land. Yeah, I mean, we have an idea with a few miles, but they have ones that um, that they, they've landed uh, a couple of hundred miles off of where they're supposed to. And that was uh, um, because they had an issue with the vehicle. And so it landed short. And uh, back then they didn't have a way to notify uh, Mission Control that that was happening. And so they were by, them, by themselves for a few hours, just hanging out, waiting for people to find them. When you're coming back in, like f for that, is it a mixture of, are you, st are you quite scared or is it you just really excited about getting back or is it just a case of, of keeping you cool until until you feel that thud? Is it quite an impact when you land as well? It was a pretty good impact. I think the impact when we hit is like driving your car about 15 miles an hour backwards into a brick wall. Like you know you hit it, but you really didn't hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. That kind of stuff. So, no, I was pretty calm. Uh, they, uh, the Soyuz is really robust and it can make it through it safely. You know, you might have some problems like landed in different areas, stuff like that, but you're going to pretty much make it down in the Soyuz. So I wasn't worried about ever having really a major issue with the Soyuz. I thought that was going to be fine. So uh, it was more just how my body was going to react when I got back to Earth. That's probably your biggest worry.